In this video, I want to go over how to use Excel to make a scatter plot graph. And a scatter plot graph basically shows the relationship between two variables that you want to look at. So, for example, we've got some student data here, and students measured their height. They also measured their foot length in centimeters, uh, their body mass in kilograms, and then, of course, their foot size in centimeters, which is these two columns are obviously the same. So I want to look at... Um, is there a correlation between height and foot size? Uh, and is there a correlation between body mass and foot size? It makes sense that there would be, right? Uh, Zion Williamson, for example, is much taller than me. He probably has a lot bigger feet than I have, right? Uh, he also, since he's much taller than me, probably has a much larger body mass, right? Someone who's very small probably has smaller feet than me and probably has smaller, a uh, lower body mass than myself. So let's look at this uh, data. This is just a, a bunch of students that uh, took these measurements, and now we're going to uh, basically, I want to highlight the, the first two columns, right, the height and uh, foot size, and then I'm going to just go up here to insert, and I want to go over to charts, and notice if I go to recommended charts, it'll give me a, a look at, kind of recognize, ooh, this one looks pretty good for you, a scatter plot, right? Uh, uh, if I cancel that, uh, I can also go over here and see that the scatter plot is of all the different charts that they have there. So I can go here and I can go to scatter plot. Okay. Now you can see I've got my data points here, but uh, I don't have my X and Y axes labeled yet. And also notice most of my data, data points are between, they're between 20 and 30, 35, right? So I can scale it to fill up more of my graph, and I don't need to have all the space down here. So to do that, I can just click over here on my vertical axis, and if I right-click on it, you can see it says Format Axis. So if I want to format that, notice I get this little menu over here, and it's got it from 0 to 35. Well, let's just change that to 20. And if I do that, uh, I can change... And now I've got something that, that fills up the table nicely. Notice uh, on my, my y-axis, 155 to 195, that looks pretty good. If I wanted to, I could do the same thing there, and I could format that access to, say, stretch out my data points as well. But uh, that looks like a, a pretty good uh, trend. And you can see if I put a best fit line in here, I'm probably going to get a, a, some kind of a positive correlation, right? So that the slope is positive, and it's going to go up. And we'll do that in a minute. So uh, next thing I want to do is I want to put a chart title, and you can see it's got a place for it there. If I just click on that, I can type in anything I need. But I also want to label both my horizontal and vertical axes to know what these, these points are. I don't want to have any naked numbers on my graph. So the way I do that is I go over here to Add Chart Element, Axes Titles, Primary Horizontal, and you can see the primary horizontal is going to be height in centimeters. And always include your units there, so we know, and as soon as I hit enter, it'll appear on my graph, right? And then for my um, axis title for my primary vertical, I'm going to say foot size in centimeters, right? And my units there in centimeters. Oops, is that it all? Yeah. And, okay, so I've got those labeled. I'll, I'll go ahead and put it here later, but I want to show you how to put that trend line in here because this is going to actually show us the relationship positive, negative, no relationship, and then we're also going to put an R squared value, which is going to give us a, a value of how strong that correlation is. So if we go to add chart element and I go to trend line, okay, now it looks to me like it's a fairly linear trend line, right? It doesn't look exponential or anything like that. So I'm going to just go with a linear trend line. And what it's done is it's placed a line in here that's as close as possible to all my data points, right? So you can see it's a positive slope. That means it's a positive correlation, which makes sense as someone's height is, gets taller, their foot size gets bigger. That's what we'd expect, right? Um, but I want to also format my trend line. So if I right-click on my trend line and I go down here to Format Trend Line, uh, you can see over here in my menu I've got some choices. I can actually get the formula for the, that, that plots this line, okay, over here. And um, 
I can get the, so that equation on my chart. I can also get the r squared value, and if I put that on there, so that means 0.62 is my r squared value. One is a perfect correlation, meaning every point would be right along the line. Zero is no correlation, like if my points are just scattered randomly on my chart, right? that would be no correlation. And then if I had negative numbers, that would be a negative correlation. As one variable gets bigger, the other variable gets smaller. But you can see I have a positive correlation of 0.62. Now what does 0.62 mean? Well, let's compare that to body size and height. So we said if someone gets big as taller, their, their body mass is also going to increase. So let's just for comparison grab this and insert a scatter plot for that. Okay, and now you can see, same thing I have here. Notice my points are all kind of bunched up here. So I'm going to just kind of spread this out the same way. Uh, so format chart. So I Right click on that, format access, and let's just go from say ooh, 50 to 100, right? So 50 to 100, okay, now I've spread them out there. Now on my vertical axis, I can go from say 20 to 35. So same thing here, I'm just gonna change this to 20. And now you can see I don't really have as tight a um, sort of points on my on my trend line. So if I add the chart element, um, I'm going to put my trend line in here, and I'm going to say linear again. It's positive. So again, as uh, body mass increases, foot size increases. But if I want to get the best fit on that, format my trend line again over here. I want to get my R squared value, and I can see that it's only 0.1 as compared to the one with a uh, height and foot size I can see it's 0.62 so this is a much stronger correlation between foot size and height as opposed to body mass and foot size and of course I'd want to label this chart I'd want to again label my uh, horizontal and vertical axes over here with the uh, chart titles uh, but I could do that uh, later. But again, uh, so this is how to create scatterplot graphs using Excel.